Okay guys, what we have here is a uh, kind of a difficult project. Um, this would be the legendary scale figure, uh, the Wolverine half scale from Sideshow. Uh, basically, uh, the guy I'm doing this for, he had a broken hand, claws were broken in pieces, and um, he wanted to know if I could uh, hook him up with some real metal claws. Um, which I did, and please excuse the, uh, you know, the, the saw blade down there, but I need something magnetized to hold these hands up. So basically this video is just to show people that, uh, you know, when you get um, any statue, uh, for the most part, they try to mimic metal because, you know, just as far as production-wise, it's just really hard to, uh, to do that. Um, but, you know, doing like one-offs and stuff here and there, like, you, know, you can really make your statue stand out, look pretty cool. Uh, so basically what we got going on now as it spins is the one closest to you that's now going to be on your right. Those are real metal claws. Uh, the one on the left isn't. It's uh, it's just a resin that maybe, I don't know, they dipped it in chrome or they, they, I don't know how they did the process, but it has a decent reflection to it, but not really compared to the other one as you can see when it bounces off the light. Um, and they sprayed it with, they misted it like with a blue, I guess to try and give it that like steel look. And uh, so basically I'll show you over here. These are, well, this is basically what we got going on. So this right here, these are the claws that came in the sideshow. All right, so that one's broken. All right, you hear that? That plastic? All right, now. If you could see, they're like a blue, I don't know. They got a little blue thing going on, you know, and they bend, flex, whatever. Now the ones on the right over here, these are the ones I just made. Now listen to this noise. All right, this is aircraft quality aluminum. Um, I tried going stainless steel first, it just didn't get that nice polish. Uh, and each one is sharpened to a bevel and putting the bevels on them, you know, each one is just like making an individual knife. Uh, as far as time wise, I'd probably say um, somewhere around four hours on this project. That's a long time for an addition. And just so you could see the reflection, I mean, you could see the, the camera and the blade and uh, it's real nice. Okay. And then also what I wanted to show you is uh, this right here. This is uh, not as a, a dense resin. This one's really flexible. It's uh, and just painted like aluminum or silver. Um, this was for uh, a Deadpool sword for uh, a custom statue. And as you can see over here, there is that. And the cool thing is, you know, you don't always have to send in the whole statue to have this done. And just to show you. All right, so here's the, the hand, and, you know, but you have that awesome reflection on the blade. And you can see the camera up there. All right, and now each one of these is individually sharpened and they're sharp. I mean, it looks like a sword. And to do the, the little test here, also what I did is uh, you gotta sink this pretty good into the hand, so all that has to be dremeled out. And I didn't paint the top yet, that's gotta be painted. But uh, just gonna show you this. I don't know if I could do this with one hand. All right. All right, so it's sharp. The Wolverine claws are actually sharper. Um, they're pretty dangerous. Uh, you know, anyway, that's about it on that. And again, just a quick little video to show you, you know, the differences of what you can do. And now this is really going to make his piece stand out a lot. All right. So here's side shows right here. It gets, it's a nice reflection. And then in the back, those are the metal ones. And you can see the reflection. And the good thing is, you know, they're never, ever going to break. 
you're, you're never going to break these. They're not going to shatter like the other ones. I mean, worst case scenario, you know, they are just glued in because these hands are hollow. You know, two thousand dollar piece and you get a hollow hands, but you know that's sideshow. Anyway, um, worst case, you could just re-glue them back in, um, and it's a good addition. Uh, so again, just wanted to show you guys that and show you that there's other options for upgrading your statues besides just, you know, repainting them and whatnot. You know, the, the possibilities are endless if you could think it. I mean, there's a lot of other guys like me that do stuff like this and I do it and, you know, there's somebody that's going to try and bring into reality whatever you're thinking up. Um, and I'll take you down for a closer view on this. So it's going to get a little wobbly. Move the tripod. All right. So you can just see the reflection. The difference in the reflection on mine compared to those. I mean, it's kind of like a shadow. You can see the camera. I mean, you can see the camera. And that's about it. I mean, that's mine right there. That sideshow is coming around the back. And of course, you know, both hands are going to be like that, but. Just to show the comparison, you know, of what we got going on here, I just wanted to uh, keep one there as one mine, just for the purpose of this. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. As always, more to come. How did you do that? With style, petit. With style.